The last time I was here, it was a blue carpet. It was for a little movie I like to call Avatar. He's already had his mitts on Avatar and Titanic, and now James Cameron has Alita, Battle Angel, all about androids. So if we were to chop James's mind in half, wonder what it looked like. A beautiful man. And I'm, it, look, I was, I was kind of, you know, because I'm notoriously skeptical. I was a little afraid, you know, of all the stories that I, and I found this beautiful mind that is so imaginative and but so approachable and so um, generous with um, with his ideas and with with what he feels and with his enthusiasm. It's contagious. Oh my God, that's an engineer's mind. You'd probably see a lot of pipes leading to numbers, leading to holes, leading to... He's probably got about 17 avatars in there. Maybe that's what you'd see. Like 50 other minds. The guy, you know, I really wanted to work with him to figure out how he does it. A lot of stuff that we wouldn't understand. Yes. Even if you, even if you lobotomized him, we still would not understand the genius that is inside that head of his. I have no idea, but he's here. You can ask him. I think Rosa got inside my head. She got inside my head and inside the artist's head, Yukito Kashiro. She created this character, and she is Alita now. There is no other version in my mind. She just did it, and it's phenomenal.